Alrighty, I am walking in the snow area. Got this new town. You already know. I'm gonna check this whole place out. And what is this? This is th th there's there's snow. There's snow snowman. This is just a snow enemy. Come across this snow enemy again. Looks like there's just a head enemy. Oh my gosh. There's a bunch of these snow statues on the ground. But I don't snow how they got here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, on to the video. Hello YouTube and welcome to the devlog. In this video we're going to be showcasing a bunch of new things that we added. But mainly we're going to be showing off the new Snow Town area. Which is another part of Split Town. Now I wanted to make this just as big as the fall area. So I had to go big or go home. So you'll see me work on the gate portion of this area. The other portion we're saving that for the next devlog. So make sure that you stay tuned. But still. We added a bunch of new things to this gate area, and we added a little uh, areas to the sides of it. And I can't wait to show it off to you guys, and I really hope you enjoy. By the way, thank you guys for subscribing. We really appreciate it. We just hit 50 subscribers, and I'm going to make a video on it soon. And I'm pretty sure when the time this video comes out, it's October 31st, I think. I don't really know. I don't, I don't know when I decide to release this video, but still. Either way, happy Halloween already starting off i'm going to talk about the first thing that i added to this snow gate area which is this little igloo village now when i was making this igloo i had one thought in mind oh, i'm just gonna scatter these around the map because i was thinking about separating this into two areas and working on one area more than the other but i'll explain that later in the death log but for now this igloo area what it ended up being was a little area or pocket where i'm going to place a few villagers and it's going to be a little like I don't know, like, base of operations for any visitors passing by. And I thought it came out really well. I was going to add a particle effect to the fire, but I'm still messing around with Unity's particle system, which is an amazing particle system, but that's not my joke. It's really good, though, and if you know how to use it, you can make some cool effects, but I'm still experimenting with the whole thing, and right now, fire isn't really the biggest concern when it comes to getting this area done. But I did add a campfire in the center of the village, and a little, uh, target and dummy that they could practice fighting on. The little details that I'd like to add. And I added a barrel and a chest as well to show that they have some supplies, because that also adds to the detail of the area. Alrighty, I'm getting into there. I'm going into the snow battlefield. <laughs> what do you mean? I want to go participate in the snow fight. I have to be a villager? Well, I am a- I, I'm not a villager per se, but I did kind of land here. I want to go talk to some people. This seems like fun. Oh, I have to be- Oh, that's not fair. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna get in there anyway. I'm gonna spite you. You got nothing on me. I'm gonna go find a separate way in. I'm gonna go fight my way through the snow battlefield. Alrighty, so I also worked on this huge snow gate. And it's not like there's snow gate there, but I'm pretty sure this will work. Now, this is dividing the snow area into two different sections. One being the outside, where I'm going to place a few passive villagers, but on the inside, oh boy, this is where the fun minigames are going to come in, because it's going to be a snow battlefield. People taking cover under igloo, destroyed fortresses, everybody just chucking snowballs at each other, it'll be amazing. But that's coming in the next devlog. But for now, I wanted to work on the outside area, where people can come into the town and see, oh yeah, maybe I don't want to go down there. And I also think it adds to the whole, I don't know, feeling of the town. Because when you look at the other areas, like nobody's in a civil war. These guys are just chucking snowballs at each other because they can. They don't have a care in the world. Now, I also experimented with this area. I decided I wanted to give it a bit of a snow touch. Now, I've only got a little bit of footage on this, but I'm going to try and explain this as best I can. This area is essentially covered in snow. And I figured I can't really find anything that will add snow to the map. So why not add a nice little particle system effect? Now, I'm gonna tell you this now. This took me way too long to figure out. Unity's particle system is great if you understand how to use it, but if you don't and you're using it for the first time, it's extremely difficult. So I'm gonna just be real with you. This took me a while, but I really think it adds to the whole feel of the area. It makes it seem nice and jolly as the snow is falling. I'm gonna make it fall even harder though when you're in the battlefield because I feel like if you're out there and you're fighting, it's getting intense, you're gonna be barely able to see it'll be a blizzard out there. 
I also figured if I have the snow, why not have a little snow piles, which I'm going to add soon. But these snow piles as well are also going to show that like it's been snowing for a while. And like if I'm going to add this snow particle effect, I might as well add little areas that, you know, it's dusting. And also the grass, I don't think I mentioned this either, the grass also has a bunch of snow in it, which is why it's white. I can't really balance it out with a green and white, that's not how Unity works. Or I guess I could, but it's a lot of effort. And I figured it would just look better if the grass was white altogether because of frost and because of the snow that's just dusting over top of it. Alrighty, now I wanted to talk about the villager that's going to be in this area. This is going to be like a very quiet and laid back villager. They're just going to be chilling out by themselves near the entrance to the town. They won't talk too much, but they'll be very important in the story come later on. They'll be the peacemaker in the snowball war. But we're still trying to get that all figured out because, like I said, it's going to be a big cutscene to make. And I need to spend some time on that. But for now, all you need to know is that this character at first is going to be very quiet. And when you talk to them, even if you exhaust their dialogue options, there will only be like one word responses. Just asking maybe who you are, why you're here. I don't really know how you get that in like one word responses. Who, why? That's just more creepy. I'm still figuring it out, but eventually we'll get this character to have a much more important role than they do when you first enter the town. Also, I'm thinking their name should be Freezing, but I don't know. Leave your feedback in the comment down below. Okay, now, this is the Ice House. Now, I will have a lot I want to do with this. This is going to be your way inside the battlefield. And the way I'm going to work it is when you enter, there'll be a little room that you go into and immediately floor drops out. And then you're in the mines. You'll be underground the entire snow area and you'll be walking under. You'll see the snow falling above you. The rocks all shaky because they're launching snowballs at each other. And eventually you'll pop out right inside the enemy. Or I guess you can't really pick a side here. You don't really know anybody. You'll pop inside one of the little snow forts and you're going to get jumped. And because you learned the battle system from the fall area, which is where you're going to start off at, you can try and fight the enemies. And I'm pretty sure the way that we're going to work this is that you can fight them, but you're not going to hurt them, actually. You're just going to talk to them at the end of the battle. And either they'll run, become your friend, or like a bunch of different things will happen. Because, honestly, I agree, killing enemies kind of sucks, and I feel like you should get EXP. If you're, yes, fighting, I like the mechanic, but you should also be able to talk it out. Because, you know, hurting people isn't fun. It also means that there's going to be repetitive characters and repetitive different people. And I don't like that in the game. There should be a few special characters that you have to deal with, and then that's it. But enough rambling for me about the battle system and enemies. And that's just gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you really like the content, we'd appreciate it if you subscribe. But don't forget, it's all optional. Though, it helps us make more stuff like this. And also, we're halfway to 100 subscribers, baby. So if you subscribe, that also helps us, because we're working our way up. And more people can see our content, so we can spread spunk to a bunch of new people. For British lads out there, do not laugh at that. Now still, if you have any feedback to leave us, we like replying to comments as long as it's constructive. If it's not, try to be funny, not rude or annoying, because then we just won't reply to those or we'll ask you to clarify. Either way, we really appreciate your comments and feedback, so make sure to leave them down below. But without further ado, don't forget that you all are amazing. And happy Halloween. Stay safe.